Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Yeah, you need sunglasses, Han. Yes, I do. I have to put the blinds down because the sun is shining in my face. <laughs> So, how's everybody doing? Pretty good. Hello, June. Hello, um, um, hello, Edmund. I'm sorry, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce your first name. Hello, hello. hello Bonnie. Hello, happy Friday, everyone. Friday is finally here. On Tuesday, I was looking forward to Friday. Hello, Brooke. Hey, Joseph. Hey, Jessa. So thanks for joining us today, guys. Today we have um, something special prepared for you, right? Amber is going to do, what are you going to do? I'm going to be making some fall cookies today. Um, pumpkins and leaves. Because fall is here. And these yeah. are in your coffee, in your global belly? Or so the leaves that I'm making today are in the global belly shop. So you can make a, you can get the kit for the leaves. Um, but the cookies that I'm making today are actually going out to my Patreon subscribers. The VIP subscribers get cookies shipped to them every three months. Um, and that's what I'm working on today. And there are a few spots left um, in that VIP tier. So if anybody wants to go grab those and get some cookies shipped to them, uh, you can do that on my Patreon. Will they be getting? From this batch, or is it for the next batch? No, it will be from this batch. Yeah. Oh, so I made I made extras just in case anyone wanted to grab those spots. Oh, very exciting! Because those spots don't are there's usually no no spots. So yeah. there's your chance to taste the sweet Anne's cookie. Yes. Hey, Diana. Hello, everyone. Priscilla, Laverne. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So. Uh, Amber has volunteered to go first. Yes. So let's, let's do the camera dance. There we go. All right. I see your favorite color. Yes, this is the uh, kind of the Wedgwood blue kind of color that I use. I made this with um, royal blue and black. So I mix those two colors together to get this nice dusty blue. So oh, pretty. Okay, so we'll just get right into it. So last time I was on, I did pumpkins, if you remember, um, with polka dots. With the, the orange flower, the, uh, what was it? Is it a chrysanthemum? Yes. Hello, Anne-Marie, Cynthia, Debbie, Sally. Hello, Joseph. Hello. Oh, look at these. Beautiful. Already beautiful. <laughs> Thank That's you. A That's a, such a nice, it's such a nice. Um, yeah, isn't that a great a shape? Very realistic shape. Yeah. So Is that, that leaves the leaf cutter is a, um, it comes in that cookie decorating kit in my global belly shop. Oh, I see. You can get that there. It's a nice shape. Very yeah, nice. Love it. Hello from friends. How do you say good French water? I'm sorry, what? Hello? Yes. How do you say good evening in French? Cocooning? What is good evening in French? Can you not hear me all right? The sound is weird. It's a bonne soirée. Oh, I see from France. Yes. Oh, bonsoir. Bonsoir. A hundred and seven. That is hot. 
That's hard, hard, hard. It is. So Amber is doing her signature filigree. You can find <laughs> her, your stencil that can be used as a template in your coffee shop, right? That's right, yeah. Oh, hello. Now, I, I, you're going to forgive us if we don't attempt your name. Kuhan, I'm just going as far as that. <laughs> but thanks for joining us. For joining us, yes. Thank you. From Peru. Hello, Elizabeth. Kashmala. I can, that's, that's okay, Kashmala. Lovely name. It's not as intimidating as your profile name. <laughs> So I see you are using a tip today. What's that? that? You're using a piping tip today. Why is that? Um, I like to use a piping tip when I do filigree, just because I feel like I have more control over the icing. Um, and um, also for flooding, mm -hmm. I just feel like it gives me like a smoother edge on the cookies. Clyde wants to know, oh, Clyde and Kelly, they're sharing, I guess, the Facebook profile, wants to know your color there. This is Chef Master Royal Blue and Coal Black. So it's probably like two parts blue and one part black. No, there is eggs in the royal icing. Well, meringue, is it meringue powder, Amber? Yeah, it's meringue powder. But Hanny has a vegan. I do have a vegan recipe for the royal icing that's very popular on my blog, vanillas.com. You can look it up. I just type vegan eggless or eggless royal icing vanillas in the Google search and it will come up. It uses aquafaba, which is a liquid from chickpeas. I would love to see you do this blindfolded. <laughs> I'll try that sometime. I, I think it will be a good challenge to yeah. do something blindfolded live. We'll try that next time. That. No, no so problem. Ariel wants to know your uh, frosting. Does it have a different a different flavors? Well, you can use any flavor you like in your royal icing. I just use vanilla. All right. Hello, Menage. And then uh, your de the density of your two colors there. I guess that would mean the consistency. Are they the same? Yes, they're the same. So I use a 15 to 20 second count icing. Um, so they just kind of smooth out together when you pipe with them. What what are your tips here? John wants to know the flood what number and then you're piping in what number? I am flooding with Wilton tip three and I'm doing the filigree in Wilton tip one. So oops, sorry. So these colors are um, the same it's the same color. I just did one darker and one lighter. Oh that's fun. Karen Little Jones. Christine has to you keep your, your royal icing from frosting quickly. I never have success with what on what. That's basic. Um, yes, so there are a few different things you can do. Um, I use more meringue powder in my royal icing. So I have uh, two pounds of powdered sugar to a cup, one, a half cup, and two tablespoons of meringue powder, which is a lot. Um, so that kind of helps keep it from crusting over too quickly. 
Um, you also want to make sure that your consistency is thin enough that it's not like, you know, crusting over too fast. And also if it's, if you have any fans running or the air conditioners on, that's going to make your icing crust over quickly. So now I'm just going to paint, once the filigree dries, you can just pipe the stem and the vine with, um, I use stiff consistency icing for that. And then I'm going to paint that with some gold luster dust. And this is, um, the brand is Crystal Colors and it's antique gold. This is my favorite gold to use. Hey, Rachel. Actually, um, the glass that you see in the house, um, it's called isomal. It's not actual candy, it's isomal that I use. So you can look it up. You can use candies, but I find candies, they tend to um, weep after after a while. Mm -hmm. don't, you, don't you agree, girls? Yes. You yes. move the candies into the windows of the house, they tend to bleed unless you treat them with uh, edible um, varnish. Right. Um, it's a Halloween, so it's not as good. It's not as bad. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm sorry if it's Clyde or Kelly watching, but they, the second color is the same as for your pumpkin there. Your It's the same color. It's just different shades of the same color, right? That's right. Yes. And then the stem is brown, I would imagine. Yeah. So for the stem, I did brown with yellow to make like a golden brown color. Oh, hello, Byron. Hey, Byron. You're, you, you work very fast, uh, uh, Della's noticing. Yeah. <laughs> By the 10, 10 thousandth cookie, you start you started going pretty fast, right? Yeah, yeah. You get a, you get faster after a few thousand cookies. Hello, Maria. So, um, yeah. Again, just to uh, remind you that these cookies are going out to my VIP Patreon subscribers, and there are a few spots left if you want to grab a couple of these cookies that I'm going to be shipping out once these are done. So how do you dry these? Laverne wants to know. Um, I just put mine in front of a fan. So you just leave them out on the tray. Um, yeah, with a fan like a few inches away from them. Hello, Melanie. Thanks for joining us. Grace says you make it look so easy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, she's not using a dehydrator, just a fan. Thing. Just a fan, that's right, yeah. Your ratio, again, for your uh, royal icing, Amber, you said it was a, a half a cup to your two pounds? Uh, it's a half a cup plus two tablespoons to two pounds of powdered sugar. Well, Maria, if you want to replicate her filigree, you'll find her stencil in her coffee shop. The link is at the bottom there, scrolling in the ticker. Tip some painting on gold. Some painting, I guess we call mine always comes up. I guess it matters what kind of liquid you use to make the paint, correct? I think everything matters, like the paint, the you know, the powder and yes, the powder, powder, powder itself. Yes, the good quality powder also matters, right? But also the alcohol. Ever since I started using Everclear, I I get much better results. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, certain brands clump definitely more. clump more than others. So yes, we we um, our handles. Oh yeah, yes we are. We are everywhere. Yes. So if you look in the description box, all the videos are pretty much have the same kind of for the live there. The links to all of our social are in each of the description box on all the channels. But Han is Hanyelas and I'm Munchell Confections. And then Amber is Sweet Adams. Mm -hmm. And we use the same, right? It's the same on Facebook. Instagram. Yes. So if you type it in, we try to keep 
consistent on all the platforms. Twitter as well. However, I'm not much active on Twitter. But oh, yeah, no. It's not my favorite platform, I have to say. If I, I don't ever go on. Thank you, Olivia. Okay, so that is... So for the... Um, Patreon cookies, usually I send two of the same, but this time I decided to change it up a little bit. So we're gonna do a leaf that goes along with the pumpkin. Karen, sure she could do monograms on the pumpkin. So they, they were noticing that your your little uh, vine looked like an L. Oh yeah, yeah, you could do any letter or any kind of design. Hi, Kim. So now I'm just going to use all tipless bags for these. Oh, they, they want to see your nails, but you're wearing your gloves. Yeah, sorry. They're just red. They're not anything exciting, just red nails for fall. Okay, so um, like I was saying before, this leaf uh, cookie cutter and, and all the supplies you need to make these are in my Global Valley shop. It comes in a kit. It's called the Marbled Fall Leaves Cookie Kit. You mean marzipan, I guess. You, you do, yeah, I actually have some here. I, it's terrible. I buy it and it never lasts because I keep like... <laughs> but I have not. I've only, I've used it on uh, on hand pies for baking. But I, have you used it on cookies, like directly on a cookie, like uh, like fondant? Let's say. It would be very good. It would be very good. I would imagine. Uh, I have not, but that that I would. Think it, it does um, expose to air. It does dry out, like dries a little bit. It's not. It doesn't. I don't think it's something you can stick it. But I don't have like a lot of experience myself. Do you? I one time grated it like cheese, if you will, and and stirred it into biscotti batter. It's very good. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. Amber, so, sorry, Han. Amber, do you have a video on how you package to ship your cookies? Yes, um, that's on my blog. I don't think it's on my, I didn't put it on YouTube, but it is on my blog. So if you go to sweetams.com and just look up the word shipping or packaging or something, you'll find it. Okay. Oh, Della, there's, a, there's a video there. Odella, that's your answer. Go to her sweetams.com blog. Yes, and for the metallics, hi Karen. Yes, I think we all have tried sweet sticks, like with colors, paint colors, right? Yes. Um, no mixing. I've used her for the powders, but not the liquid oh, the powders. But yeah, that's, those are good too. Yeah, I have some liquid. It's really nice because it's ready to use. The only disadvantage is they are kind of pricey. Yeah. yeah. But they last for a long time, I find, and they have different types of goals there. Are you icing the back of the cookie, Amber? No, or this is the, that? you can see the back actually has like a little, I don't, you can't actually see it, but I started using those perforated baking mats after Marlon suggested it. Um, but I, I just ice the front of the cookie. Joseph is asking, what, is, what are the cookies for the next week? Do we know? We don't even know, Joseph. I don't know. We don't know the morning of the live what we're doing. Yeah, pretty much. Don't know. Maybe we are going to start shifting towards the colder season. That's my. I think, I think that's my. Uh, I think we will. Because we've been pretty good doing a lot of um, fall and Halloween stuff. So I think we'll start shifting. This is such a pretty cutter. cutter. I love that cutter. Yeah, it's such a great shape. Yeah, maybe you can tell us what we should do. Yeah, we had some great suggestions last week. We always take those to consideration. Even if we don't make them for the live, we often make them for our other tutorials that we create. This this project is a good one if you're trying to 
play with like figure out for wet on wet because you can't really go wrong right like yeah. like it's just a bunch of colors and so you can kind of play with the, the different kind of how they don't mix together until you come <laughs> in with the needle and mix them right So I checked, by the way, Global Belly is still running the, their sale. So if you go on Global Belly, it's 20% off with the discount code uh, LABOR20. And so you guys could pick up your kits for the holidays. Yes. Because Oh, and it's, I think, free shipping for U.S. orders over $40. So let's say you only want one kit. Well, you can pick up a couple of cookie cutters to hit your $40 target mm -hmm. so that you can take advantage of that. Laura wants uh, your tips on creating a color palette. Um, I am not the best at cr coming up with color palettes, actually. Um, but Lila Loa is like a really good color. Um, I don't know what to call it, but she's just got tons of different color palettes and like cards to make the colors with instructions on how to mix them and everything. Um, so I'd go to Lila Loa's blog for tips on colors. Um, but like really, if I need the, a color palette, I'll just Google it, like fall color palette and you'll get so many different ideas, but um, yeah. Karen's saying if you guys, she's mentioning your other tutorial, you know where you just paint on the cookie? Yeah. You guys don't like icing, you can check out Amber's tutorial mm -hmm. on that. Bonjour le monde de Abibou. <laughs> Hello, Lynn. Well, Deb, you can just order the kit and you'll be able to decorate your very own cookies. The kits, hold on, let me find the link here to pop it up on the screen for you. Do you have it? I'm looking for it. Okay, Global Belly. So basically, you can just type in into the search Global Belly space Sweet Ams and it will come up. You know, right? Yeah. I think that's, that's the easiest. Or you can, yeah, we all have a Global Belly shops. Okay. <laughs> well, where is Jeremy? I think Jeremy is still moving, huh? Or yeah, he's relocating. So yeah, he's got a lot of stuff really, going really on. Busy and yeah, lots of stuff going on. We do miss him. Hey, Dad. So if you guys are just joining us, the lives are saved on Facebook and YouTube and you can watch them on replay. Sheila loves your cookie. Thank you. Oh, Naomi's just, just you just brought the pumpkin back into frame. She hadn't seen it. She's saying, oh my God. <laughs> Bonjour, Joelle. Hello to my oh, so pretty. Everybody is loving you. Beautiful. Gorgeous. All right. Thanks, everybody. That's um that's it for me. We didn't kick him off. <laughs> He's just busy with life. No, we did not kick him off. So um all right, so what's um like play the video? Like I'll just play the video. You want to play the video? I'm just going to play my video because I'm not really doing anything. Okay, so are we going to talk? Are we going to talk about it? I'll just play the video. Okay, you play the video then. Okay. And don't talk about it at all. Well, we didn't talk about it at all because so you could guess whose birthday it is. 
<laughs> yes. Thank you. So sorry. so sorry we made you work today, but we didn't know how to like be not to be suspicious. Like, oh, you don't have to. You don't have to do it today. Oh. So happy, happy birthday. Wow. Well, the thing is, is you you've been off for for you know, so we didn't want you to not work too, because like so. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks delicious. Buttercream yes. cookies are my favorite. Yeah, so this was what I would have made if we were physically in proximity of each other. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And you are working very fast. I have a hard time following. Yes. Oh, oh there. That, that really looks so delicious, too. I love it. That, is, that was really fast. I know, really, 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 really uh, slow. I didn't really speed up anything, so you have to bear with me. So today, <laughs> I can do a lot in a small amount of time. <laughs> oh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, I'm just gonna add my into the stream. So in in the I actually did my nails today just for you. Oh wow, <laughs> oh, wow. beautiful. Meta whatever that is, okay. metallic. Um, and because I know how much you love nails, mm -hmm. uh, we're going. To <laughs> I'm going to start by um, showing you guys. So I use this cutter. This is a great cutter, a nail polish. And um, OK, let's just watch the video. <laughs> so like I said, I didn't speed up anything. So you guys can uh, follow at the, the normal speed that I, I didn't um, I decorate it. So I use three cookies. And we're going to make a little a nail polish piñata cookies for Amber today. And so I also know that she likes Galaxy. Yeah. She has like a really easy Galaxy. So that's what I'm attempting today. I'm using electric pink. And I'm not going to pile up too much icing on there because this cookie, um, it's um, on a thinner side. My middle cookie is thicker because I'm going to put some um, sprinkles in there. And I'm using also electric, uh, electric blue. And we're just going to marble these two colors um, with a scribe. I'm just, um, where is yes. the, there's a question here. So somebody was saying that they don't get a meringue powder in, uh, in, in Pakistan. You can use egg whites. If you cannot access yeah. these, these things, the original Royal icing was made with just egg whites. So I'm sure that there's, um, chickens in your neck of the woods. Yeah, just yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Egg whites. You can use egg whites. I have a recipe with the just the egg whites on my blog also. So that's how I started. I started using egg whites first, and then I switched to meringue powder. So basically, you marble these two colors, and because it's pink and blue, you see there are some hues of purple coming up. Just mixing it, and then I added some silver stars. These are really uh, nice sprinkles to have. And then to apply them onto the icing, I like to use the scribe tool. This is, I think, I believe this is a built-in built brand. And these can be uh, sourced out at Michael's usually. No, those would probably actually work in nail polish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They do work in nail polish, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, I think they would. They really would. And then you, we can also, uh, I'm going to add some white, for the additional stars and also shape one of the larger dots to a star with a scribe. Oh, thank you, Maria. So today we are celebrating Amber's birthday. We made her work throughout the whole life. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I like to of the tool every time I run it through so the dark color doesn't get transferred into the white but sometimes you know it happens anyway we only few things that you cleaned it enough uh, that's a tough one this question. A tough one. you can try lemon, lemon juice I've been using lemon juice for many many years and it's been uh, really great this is another um, this is a dust but it's not like a um, shimmer. I mean, it's it's a bit, bit coarser, I would say. Mm -hmm. I think it's also built on. They have silver, gold, and uh, I don't know 
other, I don't know if they have any other colors. So Ben, you have to let it rest and then we can do the, just want to pop that comment. Okay, thank you. We can do the, what's this part called, Amber? You know, um, the, just like the lid, I guess. Lid, okay. So the, the lid, I did the lid with black, um, white, light gray, and dark gray. That's why I'm leaving these sections open, and that's where I'm gonna pipe white. Oh, happy birthday, Chris. And this is also about 20, uh, 15 to 20 second consistency. It's fine on this small section. This cutter is not very big, I have to say. It's not like a huge cutter. It's almost the size of the nail, a real nail polish, I would say. Yeah. Maybe a little bigger, a little bigger, but very, very, um, similar to the size and even the shape. So here I'm just going over, I'm not trying to make any horizontal lines here. I'm just disturbing the lines a little bit, but only vertically following the, the, the line I created. And you don't wanna go you know, horizontally there. So, okay. And then put your hand up, who's it? Who's, oh, she put the video right away. Hold on a second hand, start it again. Here, put your hand up, Amber. They want to know. <laughs> <Amber? laughs> this is Amber, she's uh, having a birthday. All right, so then I also made a little stand um, to put the piñata cookie on. And this is just meant to be like some spilled nail polish. So I'm using pink again and blue and also the day they were just going to kind of loosely marble. They're marbling a lot today, huh? Mar oh yeah. Marbling a lot. Um, to make the electric pink, I used um, electric pink, electric <laughs> gel food color. Unfortunately, I don't think you can achieve the, the brightness of the pink with any other color, any of the, any other pink. Like dusty pink will not give you that, that um, nice bright color or I don't know if deep pink, rose pink. I don't know. Have you have you tried using other pinks to create this nice bright pink color? Um, I use neon bright pink from Chef Master. Um, yeah, neon. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, 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 that's similar to electric. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then I like to use the thicker scribe if I want to move the icing quickly. And I also wiped it between the sections. So I didn't transfer blue into the white um, where the pink was, you know, meeting the white. I don't know if I'm making sense at all. And the cutter I used for this is actually a cutter from uh, Sweet Sugar Bell. I have it here somewhere. I'll, um, it's an egg cutter. Oh, oh, like, it's a, oh, that's an egg. Oh. I was like, that's not an egg. <laughs> That's, oh, that's like like, that well, that's yeah. egg over easy, I guess. Yeah, my yeah, favorite. yeah. Yes, <laughs> my favorite. Yeah, I was looking like what would make a really good, uh, like a you know splatter or something like that, and this worked out really well. Um, then I actually used um, some white to, you know, get some shading going on. Um, but I think in this one, I forgot to add the dust that I used on the nail polish bottle as well so i don't know if i ended up adding it or not but you want to add it when it's wet so it can stick and it actually creates uh, you see it creates um, a bit of a texture as well it doesn't it's not like a disco dust that it's going to kind of sink in this is a little bit of texture all right so now we're going to um i'm going to where are my cookies so here are the cookies those are so cute. And the cutter for the base that I used. Okay. And talk about this set all the time. This is a cutter from um, Atico. Atico brand, the geometrical set. And that's what I used to cut out the middle. Okay. So when you're making cookies, the middle part is where you're going to deposit whatever you're using. Uh, you can use um, from art I made. I made a larger piñata and I was able to put tiny little cookies in there. This you can use uh, little candies. You could use maybe um, maybe one gummy candy or something, depending on how thick you make your piñata cookies. Okay. You put a nail sticker in there. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can find the old sticker in there. Yes, exactly. All right. So um, I'm going to first glue them and then I'll write happy birthday because if I glue it to, uh, if I write and then I try to glue it, I might mess up the writing. So I also made my own uh, sprinkles mix. Okay. And I'm going to use three different sprinkles. So I've got, this is actually a um, um, mermaid, but I felt mm -hmm. like I didn't have any other blue. So I'm going to add some of this stuff in here. And this is something, this came with um, some toy or something. So I'm trying to avoid adding the big, um, there's some big pearls in there. So I'm not gonna add those. That's a cute little shovel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and then these are, guys, this is, uh, I'm in love with these, these are edible. And you see they are very, That's very, so shiny. but they are edible. They are not like a, a spaghetti or anything. They are edible. It's just, this is the brand, Fun Cakes. But hands in Spain, so. No, but they, they actually sell these. Yeah. You can get these online in US. Oh, They're very pretty. You have my mailing address? I do have your mailing address. <laughs> Are you suggesting anything? I'm very slow, you know? Oh, I don't know what I'm suggesting. You have a saying, you're, like, you, you're standing on my cable. <laughs> like if I can't get a joke, like, am I standing your cable, on your cable? So these are, um, I think, uh, one of my favorite uh, because these are soft. Mm -hmm. so you can actually, I feel like, not that you're gonna eat all the sprinkles. This is what I'm gonna use to fill it, all right? So I don't need more because the cavity is on a smaller size. And I'm just going to mix it. We're just going to mix it. Well, it's exact color match of your cookies. Mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Thank you for noticing. I was going for that. I even took the blue ball so it would match. <laughs> you have a pink, and you're mixing with the pink stick? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Oh. I'm wearing blue to match the cookies as well. So yes, we are going all in for Amber's birthday. All right, so <laughs> gonna, I'm just going to glue this together and it's super simple. These are dry, okay? So you don't want to be gluing these when this is wet because when you turn it um, upside down, then your, oops, your icing can, side. am I going to do, um, going to do this side? So this one is going to be on the bottom. Oh, so you did, okay, so both of the sides of your piñata are decorated. Yes, indeed. So yes, when you turn it, oh, very Yes, indeed. Um, so let me get some icing that is not separated. And it, of course, is. So, all right. I'm just mixing it, sorry. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to type some icing over here. I'm going to use the shape function to make it wash. And now we can add the sprinkles. Could also add some shimmer to it. So uh, you can use um, um, you could use if I can find it. Oh here it is. You could use uh, some of this stuff if you want to get it a bit, you know, more lustrous if you wanted to. So you just really need like one, one and a half scoop. Now I'd like to get started. And the voting is, uh, I'm, I'm asking you guys if I should break one of these during the live. I vote yes. So I'm very, no. <laughs> I'm very sad about breaking anything. <laughs> so I'm going to, all right, real will, I guess, uh, break one of them. Yeah, our little scooper's cute. See, though, so these are quite easy to put to. I think they're quite easy, fast to put together. So if you have a, oops, you have to um, kind of let it sit a little bit for the glue to work, for the icing to, to dry. 
to drive. Okay? Now I'm going to attempt to write happy birthday on here. Hello, oh, Esther. Now, um, normally I would do this before I assemble the cookies, but I um, I didn't want to do it after because um, you know you have to keep touching it, so I would probably mess it up. Okay. Can you see all right? Somebody mentioned they don't like to use egg whites. Well, if you go on Han's blog, she has a recipe for royal icing with aquafaba, which yeah. is the, the liquid from um, chickpeas. So you should check that out. It's a good alternative for vegans as well. Oh, whoops, that's not the link. Which, which is the link? Here's the link. Here's her blog. Oh, my icing is a bit thick. It's either thick or thick. So if you can read happy birthday, I'm sorry. The other one is very much nicer. <laughs> yeah, well, you can eat this one. Yeah. So we did um, Han's birthday in March. We did our little celebration. Um, that Her birthday is on St. Patrick's Day. And it's still there, the live. You can watch it. And then Mars' birthday was last month. Almost a day, right? Almost to the day. So my eyes is so thick. All right, so happy birthday. <laughs> right on there. Not too bad. Cute. I love that. And then you basically um, take some icing and glue it on the top. And it's mm -hmm. going to be like this. So I felt like packaging-wise, you can just package it um, in a clear uh, poly bag. I've got one. I'm gonna set this aside so I can show you. This is the one that's been drying for a while. So I mean, once it oh, yeah. down, put it down, know, put it down there. Once it dries, you can. Um, so cute. All right. So now the, the um, thank Google you. Is very sad. Oh, you're welcome. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm going to now, I guess, take the. Um, then <laughs> No, but I'm I'm um, um, I'm going to at least break this down. Huh? Or what um, do you, okay, you you decide? It's your cookie. I mean, I would probably just like smash the whole thing like that. Okay. Just see what happens. Thanks, right. Dad. Are you coming over to clean up? Huh? Are you coming over to clean up? <laughs> yes, and I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Ready? Okay, so can you do the countdown? And I'll do it on three then. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where did it go? That base was solid. <laughs> so so uh, we did not make it at first attempt. So let's do the second attempt then. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So much mess. All right. So who is doing the countdown? <laughs> okay. One, two, three. All right. Oh. <laughs> that was great. Yes, perfect. There it is. You can eat the crumbs. Now you can send it to me. Mm. It's good. Looks, I know. I wish I could eat all these treats. I mean, I guess I could eat my own, but that's boring. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You have to move again for when, remember when you moved, the neighbors were bringing you treats? You have oh, to yeah. move like, oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. I know. Oh, Byron, I can't wait to see him in the house, uh, house as well. Oh, yeah, we have some. Oh, and my, and my Cinderella thing, yes. It's, I got to wait for a Yeah, that's next week, right? Was it Rabat's? What? Our collab. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yeah, 15, yes, yes. <laughs> but I'm not making Wizard of Oz cookies. And yes, yes, we are. Yes, I, I very, I suffer deeply with cookies. Well, that's a very good question. Who is making Amber's cake? I don't <laughs> know. The... Well, yes. uh, I hate to say it, but I'm going to be just 
blunt dead, you asked, I guess you're going to make it. <laughs> I think it's Dicings, asked Mark. Who? The bakery. Oh, the bakery? Oh, what kind? Um, I asked for something with custard in it. So, and chocolate frosting. Mm. That'll be good. Like basically like, is it called Boston cream pie type thing? Yeah, I guess it would kind of be something like that. Yeah. Those yeah. are nice. Mark's in charge. Mm -hmm. These are very good. Looks good. And it's so pretty. I love those colors. So thanks guys. That was great. My favorite things. That poor cookie, yes. <laughs> well, it took us some beating, huh? Is this uh, Portuguese or Spanish? Spanish. Homo is also writing in, uh, in Spanish, no? But I think it's, do you think it's Portuguese? No, no, it's Spanish. Never said it's Spanish. I think it's Spanish as well. Oh, this, uh. Oh, I think it was about that the cookie is all like in little crumbs. It's like almost like pulverized, you know? Uh, Yes, polvo, yes, I guess that would mean, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. If we sit and look at the sentence long enough, maybe we can pull one <laughs> word out of it. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Diana. Here, I had pulled it. Here, here is the, here. This is the one I did today, or this is the one I did today, I don't remember. So here are the cookies I decorated, and this is the, the aftermath. Ready? Here's the other one. I had I had actually put, and the kids will be happy to eat your cake, Amber. Sad to say, but they're liking the buttercream. The buttercream. My, that was my delicious. My cake supply place has the little lunch box. So these are the um, the bento box cakes. These are very popular right now. I don't know if you saw them on uh, TikTok and on Instagram. And so you just make these individual things it's cute. so cute i love that and just like that we're not even at time <laughs> how did that happen mine was short mine was only 25 minutes or oh, less. well mine mine was very short all right so let's then if we have a couple of minutes let's quickly show so here is the subscription and I did a test, they're doing the, the discount code on these, I guess for, for one month, I guess it was working when I tested it. So you oh, can nice. see the subscription club. And so 40, uh, $40 order and you get free shipping in the US and 20% off with the code labor 20. So you could stock up, stock up to for your holiday. If you don't wanna subscribe, you just wanna buy individual kits, you can do that. And then on coffee, we have a ton of uh, templates and tutorials. And then each of us have a Patreon. And Amber has how many spots? Four or five spots for to get your cookies? Yeah, last I looked, there were five available. So if you want to go grab those spots, you'll get cookies in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be packaging them up and she can stick your address on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you also get a signed copy of my book. Oh, awesome. So it's your birthday and not like but the person's birthday too, you know yeah. what I mean? Like it's stuff. Yeah. And also I wanted to say for a lot of the recipes that I use in lives, you can visit my blog, honeyalas.com, and I have all the recipes listed there. Royal icing, oops, royal icing, you know, sugar cookies, vegan sugar cookies, um, different cakes, recipes. So you are more than welcome to stop by. Yeah everything well the link is did you put it up yes i did yes, and then i, I did. took it off because it was yes, so it's yes. It is. but if you see yeah. hanielis if you type hanielis in google you'll get all of her different things and same thing for amber sweet ams and same thing for me we try to use the same handle everywhere so it's easy mm -hmm. to find for you guys so somebody asked before i'm marlin and my handle is munchal infections and then next I'm Amber, and my handle is Sweet Ams on all the platforms. Hi, I'm Bonnie, and my handle is Vanilla. And we're all on TikTok now, too, right? Yes, I have like 40 followers. So follow me on TikTok. It's a tough one. Are you guys on TikTok? It's a platform to follow, yes. 
Yeah, I'm having some fun over there. I like at first I was not sure, but it's now I, I go there first now. Oh, you've gotten your groove there. So if you want free, there's a ton of free. The blog, Han's blog is free. Amber's blog is free. The YouTube, there's a ton of videos on YouTube that are free. Um, check, you know, like Instagram, all the videos, even though they're fast, it shows you a lot with regards to the process. Those are all free, so you you know you can check it out. Today was free. Mm -hmm. free. Today was free. So thanks for joining us, everybody. Happy birthday again, Amber. Thank you. That was fun. Thanks for my treats. We're gonna wrap it up. Don't forget to um, join us on Tuesday again. We have a bake along going on with Mar. Right? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what you are doing. I rolled my cookies. I have a slight mini idea of what I'm doing. You do? Okay, awesome. It's going to be great, I'm sure. Thank you, Carla. Thanks for joining us, guys. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>